Right. Spear fishing gear. Crystal clear water and bushcraft tools can mean only one thing. Let's I've, hope for a catch and cook. I've strayed south of the border and we are hoping, fingers crossed, for some sort of catch and cook this time. It looks stunning. Dustin's just going to spin from the side of the rocks for a bit and I'm going to spend an hour or two spear fishing and having a look around here. And we've got no real plan set in stone, have we, of where we're going to cape for? We don't. It's kind of like a, one of those like drive and survive holidays where yeah. we don't really know where we're pitching up tonight, but we'll make it happen wherever it is to be. Beach bums, rock bums. Right, let's saddle up and get in the soup. So what are your predictions? What are we getting? Well, I'm just going to keep bringing it to you like a like a seal at a circus. I'm just going to keep launching fish out to you. <laughs> Whew, tight lines. Good luck with your spinning. Good luck. I'll see you in a bit. Oh shit, my snorkel. Throw it. Throw it before I shoot you. What sort of fish you see? Uh, bass, but they were too skittish. And then a shoal of bullet, and I was just waiting. Because bass swim in with the bullet, I was waiting yeah. to pick a bass out. But yeah. I just took one of the stragglers at the uh, end. You... Oh, fuck, you got to get something. I, see, I can see you got a nice mullet there. You've got to get something for the pot. Oh, and yeah. A, and a claw. And a lobster claw. Nice. <sighs> That's going to have pile of it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Woo! That's a good mullet. That's a big mullet. The claw from the lobster that got away. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go try and find the rest of it. Two hours, I think I was in the sea there for the last last one. I didn't get the footage of me actually getting a fish, but I got a mullet in the end. I had to settle for mullet, but it's a decent one. This is our little area. We're blocked from the wind. We're gonna set up here, find somewhere. I'm gonna go in for a little dip now. I shouldn't really be talking to you. I should be getting ready. And Dustin's getting ready. We've got three three traps for lobsters all sorts of crustaceans and loveliness dustin's going to sort them out with some mackerel and get them in and he's going to get two rods on the go and we're going to fish while i go and uh, just have a scoot around for some lobsters in the slack water all right. right suited and booted for the second time today feeling refreshed enough to get back out there hopefully Lobster's what we want, fingers crossed. See you on the flip side. <laughs> there you go. Look at that, it's a weapon. I got a. Uh... Oh, there we go, there she is. Look, well within legal size. Well within legal size. Big brown crab and a mullet. Uh, this is our camp for tonight, just on this ledge. It's a beautiful evening and a successful um, first time in the sea down south so things are going to plan. I had a wonderful time with Matt in the woods and uh, mucking about in rivers and stuff and, and this is where it gets serious this is what I've come for this is the uh, and the goal is to get a bass I've come down here main goal is to get a bass but 
to be on the fish and to get a mullet and to get a crab <sighs> elated if I wasn't so exhausted I'd be more elated beautiful a stunning evening so we're just gonna I'll have a bit of wine and then we're gonna cook up a paella with our seafood and a few bits and pieces we got from the shop <laughs> oh, here we go so this is my time with Dustin and then he's gonna go tomorrow he's gonna go home and I'm gonna make my way we're in Dorset now I'm gonna make my way through Devon into Cornwall and just explore myself <laughs> not, not explore myself but just explore by myself see what I can see see if I can get on that bass um, do a bit of wild camping and then hopefully hook up with a few more people do a couple more collabs and I'm going to take you along for the ride so if that's what you want to do stick around if not I'm sure there's something inside by you can watch woohoo right I've just come down to gut the mullet I mean it looks pretty gutted it's, it, tide's going to take it Ah, there we go, prepped. Ah, taking all the scales off, head off, fins off. Decent little bit of meat. Right, this is what we've decided to do. We've got our coals and we've made a little tiny area out of stones so we can condense the heat so hopefully it won't just burn out quickly. And that is a male, it's a big buck. Woo, he's trying to get my hand. And then we're gonna put him out of his misery and then we're gonna cook him. That's big, uh, big crab dispatched. Hopefully it'll fit in the pot. Let's have a look. I'm filming a little bit. I'm filming a little bit, so just be careful about your swear words. I know you like your swearing. There you go, look. Remembered it from school. Uh, home tech, or whatever they call it. RE. Made a little... There you go, Ray Mears. Made a little lid out of tin foil. And I know you're watching my videos. Check that out. It's time to retire, old man. Make way for the new wave. <laughs> Lol. Brownie. Oh yeah, little brownie. Oh. That's cute. Well, there's a mini version of what we're about to cook up. The strength in brown crabs is ridiculous. Yeah, it's so strong, it's gonna pick up the whole net. We've got the guts in the other pot, we're putting the head in this one and the rest of it we're gonna eat. So nothing's going to waste. At least we know it works, and at least we know they're out there. It works, they're out there. That just needs to go tell his granddad where we are. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mind you, I think we've got his granddad ready to go in our pot. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna crush it. Get those brain juices flowing. Oh mate, if not, if something doesn't have that, there's something wrong. And there we go, the treats are, the oil, Slithering out of there. Oh, Dustin's going in with his. We've got the chicken thighs, burned. They're getting cooked off, and Dustin's spice mix, which is paprika, mixed herb, and then a bit of salt. A bit of salt as well, yeah. A bit of salt. There you go. As bushcrafters, we are the trees that we <laughs> that we become accustomed to. We use them all the time, and then to be taken away, like for, to have trees taken away, it's hard to make tools, make whatever you need. We're so. I'm here stone this with, an, with a rock. Coastal Bushcraft AF. And look at that. Just gonna add some water to it so it doesn't dry out. There we go, man, look. Chicken thighs, crab dismembered, legs, got our lobster claw. That is a pile of half, mate. Look at that. Chorizo, 
Mm. We just started and we're going in on this crab claw and the meat, look at the amount of meat that's coming off that is, oh, it's so good. That is delicious, isn't it? I'm getting speechless. <laughs> oh. Right, now this is going to be hotter than the surface of the sun because the sugars, ah, the sugars get so hot but it gives it a complete different flavour and it just all oozes out, look at that, loads of it. This is such a good dish, it's lovely. I wouldn't love it when it's licked. We still can't see the bottom of the pan. Dustin's making my life hard by talking, saying weird shit when I'm filming. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is our fish. And that is good to go. If I had a fork, I would eat with it, but I don't, so I'll maybe use my fingers. It's well hot. Look at that, look at that white meat there. Ow, ow, ow. Just use the digits, look, peel that back. There, look at all that white meat, that was delicious. So, I'm gonna start chewing into that as well. We don't wanna waste a thing, and the calories will keep us warm. <laughs> Something like that, bushcraft. There's Dustin doing his bushcraft watch. I think I might tackle this. <laughs> He's tackling that. He ain't can't tackle that. He ain't can't tackle that. I can tackle this. Can't get it open. Mm. I'll just eat them finger bits on the side, mate. Get them down here. These? Yeah, see them bits of that fingers? Get them into you, they're good. Those Whitby lads love them. Are you kidding me? They're, they're, really, they're, good. they're the best bit. <laughs> they're not the best bit. They're, the, they're delicious. They're the bit you don't want to eat in the crab. They're delicious. Definitely. Them in a, in a wrap. Delicious. Right. Don't know if you can see me again. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. We've come away from all the bugs. We found this place that doesn't have... Doesn't look to have any bugs. Uh, it's near these big stones and this old crane for getting boats in and out, so it's quite atmospheric. Unless some mad or trad happens, I shall see thee on the morrow. Ugh. Morning glampers. So we ducked down away from the path last night to Kip and there's the path, so we didn't do a good job about that. Um, just kept on the, on the airbed with the bivvy bag. Kept it simple as I did in the woods the other night. Glorious day, dry mouth. Let's get up and see what this day has to offer. Oh, I, I wasn't gonna do it, but I'll just turn it on and be myself, I don't care. He's saying, hey up subscribers, because I'm taking piss out of him for being a geography teacher. And Dustin there in the background, off back to sleep, like some sort of student. Mine, both teacher and student. Tits out for 12 subs females out there. Beautiful, la beautiful. Right, we kept away from here and, uh, but we left our vans here and cars for a fiver. T word. T word, I don't know what he's talking about. Dustin's just gone over there to do his weird little chat to camera. I'm just keeping it real next to trucks. We're having a bit of watermelon. People are looking at me strange because I'm talking to a camera. Speaking of strange, there's Dustin. Strange Dustin. <laughs> Let's have a go. Hydrates you after all the, the sins of the evening. I'm gonna smash this, maybe have a little bit of a snooze, who knows? Check the pots and then we're gonna go in. I don't think we went to bed till like two o'clock. Two o'clock? Uh, yeah, we were rock and rolling it. We didn't even know where we were sleeping. <laughs> rock and rolling it, stumbling around trying to find somewhere <laughs> to keep. <laughs> trying to get away from the path, we ended up keeping on the path. On Actually, on the you. path. We're going to go for a little snorkel around and see what we can find. Get Dustin some tea. Do it. Cheers. Wait, that's for that tuna must have been here. Tuna? Yeah. yeah. 68 pounder. What, recently? About eight years ago, six years ago. You've been getting them up in the North Sea though, haven't you? Oh, he's not from the North. 
he can't, he can't claim north in this. He's from up north. I'm from up north. We're back down to the scene of the crime. I've got homeless footballer Ed Air, and we're going to just pull him in and see. I mean, this is a very long shot, like the longest of shots. It doesn't look like there's anything shadowy over the baits from here. No. But. We've been out all night. Nothing. Nothing in that one. Oh, the visibility looks better today. Just from walking along the cliff, it looks so much clearer. It's lost that milkiness to it, so I can't wait to get in. And not even brought my spear gun because if I catch anything, I don't really want to eat a fish, I don't need it. So if we get a lobster, we're going to eat that for dinner as like a, like a final to end on, like an end note. And then any more, Dustin will take home to cook at home. Ear roll. Just a couple of blasts in your lug. And it stops water sitting in your ear and stops you getting ear infections. Suited and booted again. Even Dustin's got his little green wetsuit on. Switched at GoPro, see if we can get anything. As I say, I'm not, not going fishing because I don't need it, but we'll definitely try and get some lobsters or big crabs to show you. I thought it looked like a spider crab. Little juvenile. Absolutely crazy. Charging away in the case. Whew. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'll put him back. It's pretty cool in these caves. There's a lot of wrasse. There's a lot of wrasse hiding about in the dark bits. So what makes your tongue go all weird? But it's nice to have some watermelon just to bring you back, bring you back to life. There's Dustin. 
the TV presenter Dustin managed to get two large two large male uh, brown crabs there I go I got the short straw well now I volunteered to jump in and go and retrieve our pot so that's what I'm going to do <laughs> Was that good? Yeah. <laughs> Did he touch the bottom? Oh, that took a little bit of uh, a little bit of mental persuasion there, mate. That wasn't as easy as it looks. Oh, I slept all up bingo wings. Did you? Yeah, because I wanted to put my hands out to slow me down from hitting the bottom. Yeah. But you didn't touch the bottom? No, and it also went like that when I hit, so that, okay. so that I wouldn't touch it. <laughs> right, someone else's turn. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, three. Good luck! Two, yeah! Woohoo! Look at that! Yeah, that was good. That was good. Woo! Woo! Did you bottom it? Wow! Wow! Yes! That was sick. Sick as. This is Dustin, ladies and gentlemen, and you're going to get to see Dustin's true colours in this next scene where he promised to film me jumping into the water and then pushed me when I wasn't ready. Shame on you, Dustin. Shame on you, kid. Right, so go somewhere near the end and then I'll get a shot of... <laughs> That's revenge! Reve Re revenge is sweet! Right, we've come down here to cook up our crabs and we didn't have a uh, an accurate measure when we were down there. And this one is a little bit under, it's still alive so we're going to throw that back. And then it doesn't really seem worth eating this guy because he's only got one... Look at him, he's only got one claw so we would cook him up and we'd have to share a claw and then just pick at them and it doesn't seem worth it so they're gonna get gonna get another chance at life right he's had a he's had a lucky break a lucky break back in you go ah. there you go one voyage too soon i'll get on my travels and i'm just gonna leave dustin there fishing for mackerel say bye dustin links to dustin's channel below what an amazing trip we've had. Absolutely. It's been quality, mate. Right, see you later, dude. See ya. <laughs> and that's Dustin, ladies and gentlemen. Right. <laughs> Join me next time as I continue my travels. <laughs>